Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 13th, and I warmly welcome you to this service of morning prayer, coming to you from the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia, on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. My name is Paul, and I'm a member of this congregation. Today we remember a King of England, Edward the Confessor, who died on this date in 1066. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger for thirst and for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are the, those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. A few notes on Edward the Confessor. He spent much of his early life in exile with his mother in France because of a Danish invader that had killed his father and older brother and usurped the Anglo-Saxon throne. But when the usurper died without a credible heir, the English recalled him and asked him to be their servant and sovereign. He proved to be a cautious ruler, rarely left his palace, and preferred anything or anyone French over the English ways. But he also had the wiliness of a survivor and managed to outmaneuver the ambitious earls of his kingdom, so that England at that time enjoyed 22 years of relative peace. Edward the Confessor, who died on this date in 1066. Let us pray. O God, you called your servant Edward the Confessor to rule the English people in justice and to endow your church with works of beauty. Mercifully grant that following his example, we may provide for the needs of the poor and give shelter to the homeless and orphan. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
Let us pray. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world. Those in this gathering, for our bishop, and for all ministers and people, we pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble, especially as we recover from Hurricane Fiona. I ask your prayers for the mission of the church. Pray for the coming of God's kingdom among all nations and peoples. I ask your prayers for those who have died in the peace of Christ and for those whose faith is known to God alone. Pray that God may be glorified in all his saints. Let us give thanks to Almighty God for all his goodness. You were worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. You are worthy to receive blessing and praise now and forever. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.